Today we're going to subtract polynomials. This is going to look very similar to our last lesson, which was adding polynomials. Um, before I show you this, I want to just back up here for a second, and I want to write something on the board here. If you look at the difference between this up here and this right here, can you see what the difference is? The difference is, is on the top one, we have two polynomials as indicated by the set of parentheses. Down here, there are no parentheses, so instead of having two separate polynomials, you just have one and you just combine the like terms. So on this bottom one, you would find the m squared terms and you would combine them. You would find the m terms and you would combine them and the constants. But because of the set of parentheses, this changes what this one says up here. So we have a quadratic pi uh, trinomial, sorry, quadratic trinomial subtracted by a quadratic trinomial. Now, there's two different ways you can think about this. Right here with this minus sign, we have an invisible one. So if you were just to see this, you would know that you would have to do the distributive property to each one of these terms back here when you have any type of multiplication with a polynomial. You do the distributive property. So that would be a negative 3m squared minus 4m plus 6. Notice it changed the sign of each term in the polynomial. That's one way you can think of it. Or you can look at it this way. When you were subtracting, we remember the rule that when you subtract, you actually add to the opposite. But since this is a polynomial, you'll have to add the opposite of each term inside the parentheses. So whether you think of it as distributing a negative one, or if you think of adding the opposite, adding the opposite, adding the opposite, the result is the same. Each term in the second polynomial changes signs to the opposite. Once you do that, and this is the one thing you have to remember, once you remember to change the sign of each term in the second polynomial, you're just going to add like we did on our last lesson. Again, we talked about some organizational ways of um, setting this up so that you won't get lost. One of those ways was the vertical method. So we could write the first polynomial down, and we could stack the second polynomial underneath. Notice when I stacked it that I changed it to an addition problem, and I changed each term to the opposite sign. So instead of a positive 3m squared, it's a negative 3m squared. Instead of a positive 4m, it's a negative 4m. Instead of a negative 6, a positive 6. Each goes to the opposite term. And then you combine, just like we did with addition. So a 2m squared minus 3m squared is negative m squared. You have a negative 3m and a negative 4m. That's a negative 7m. And then you have two constants, 4 and 6, and that makes 10. This example again. We have to, here we see the subtraction sign. So if we distribute the negative one, or you can think of it adding the opposite, either way the result is you have to change each term to the opposite sign. So this becomes negative, this becomes negative, and this becomes negative. Now if we want to use the vertical method, we can line it up. But we notice that in the first polynomial, we're missing an x term, so we leave space here. When we stack the other one underneath it, we're going to put with the opposite sign. So instead of a positive x squared, it becomes a negative x squared. Instead of a positive 4x, it's a negative 4x. Instead of a positive 6, it's a negative 6. Now we combine like terms, and we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 2. If you like to organize with the horizontal method, then you would look up here, and again, you have to, you see the subtraction sign, so you need to know each term in this polynomial has to be changed to the opposite. So this is going to be a negative 6x squared, a negative 4x, and a negative 3. So when organizing with the horizontal method, you would group the like terms together in parentheses. So you would have 2x squared minus 6x squared, because we changed the sign in front of it. You would have minus 3x and a 
plus a negative 4x, and you would have the constants 1 minus 3. Now when you combine these, the result's going to be negative 4x squared, and negative 7x, minus 2. This is a, this mental step right here, this horizontal thing, it may be something that you can do mentally, but it shows you how you are combining like terms, but you have to change the sign of each term in the second polynomial to the opposite sign. Okay, one more example. We have a subtraction here, so we know in the second polynomial, we're going to have to change this to a negative 3y squared, a positive 4y, and a positive 2. So if we were to group these horizontally, or with like terms in parentheses, we would have our 2y squared minus 3y squared. We would have our negative 4y plus 4y. And we would have our negative 9 plus 2. And the result would be negative y squared. And here in the center, our negative 4x. That's, that's a misprint. It's supposed to be a y. Uh, negative 4y plus 4y cancel each other out. becomes 0, so that just goes away and negative 7. So remember, when subtracting with polynomials, when you see these sets of parentheses and you see a subtraction sign, you have to distribute the negative 1 or change each term to the opposite sign and then add. I hope this helps you with your assignment today.